big old male. About the same size. Like I said, I'm going back in this pocket and I picked up a chatterbait. You can see I got some flooded grass and a little bit of old dead brown grass and stuff. And the water's falling and these fish are starting to get out on the edge. And I picked up this bladed swim jig and I'm throwing it on a six foot 10 Denali spinnerbait rod with a six four to one lose tournament pro reel. And I've got, I've got this one spooled up with like 14 pound gamma fluorocarbon. And you see Rod's got a little bit of tip, which I, I kind of like a little bit of tip for two reasons. Number one is to cast and to be able to skip it and throw it up under things, but it kind of gives the fish a bait just a second. It helps me get a little better hook in them. But normally I'll throw this in the exact same places that I'd throw a spinnerbait. Um, I may go to it a little more um, if the water starts to clear, but a chatterbait works real good in dirty water also. I mean, there doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be a, a, a water clarity that it doesn't work in, clear or, or dirty. And I do like a little bit of stain to throw it in. But I'll basically vary my, uh, vary my trailers. Sometimes I'll, I'll use like a flapping crawl in the back of it or a, like a, a crawdad of some sort. Or I might even use a, a, one of those Trigger X slop hoppers on the back of it or, or maybe a drop dead minna, like a, a flute style bait. There's one just come off that bush right there and eat that bladed swim jig right there. I mean, he stopped it when I come by. Another big old male. But I like to fish the bait. I like to fish it on like a 6 4 to 1 retrieve reel, a little bit faster retrieve. And this is a bait that's good, like I said, spring, summer, fall. Anytime you've got bass around shallow cover or grass or just anything, boat docks, it's just a good way. It gives you it's a little bit different look than a spinner bait. And uh, there's another one. Hit it back in that grass. Like I said, this old brown grass, this bait really shines, as you can see. And that one there's not bad either. You see, he really ate it. But whenever you're fishing in the early spring, buy you some different trailers and get you some bladed swim jigs and just try to get out and cover water with it. It's a lot of fun. Oh, man, he short lined me right here at the boat. You talk about a nice bass. I mean, he has engulfed this bait. Ah, now that is a nice one right there. And look, the blade's just barely sticking out. Ah. Can't even get it back out of his mouth. He really kind of short lined me right there at the boat. There's about a four pounder.